hello friends today we are going to talk about the next topic that is the calculation of the structure factor for the diamond structure as we know that the uh, uh, diamond structure in this case we are talking about the cubic structure okay here uh, as we know that the uh, diamond structure is composed of the two interpenetrating fcc right and it is having the eight number of atoms per unit cell in case of this a uh, diamond structure right so how they are just uh, uh, placed in the particular unit cell of the diamond structure and why it is so compact right so as we uh, know that the in case of the fcc structures uh, that is a face centered cubic there are eight atoms on the corner of the uh, cube right so you can see the red atoms are uh, uh, sitting at the corner of the uh, uh, cube right and then in the in the blue we can see that the um, six atoms which are sit, uh, uh, sitting uh, at the center of the each face okay then obviously there uh, remains that the means uh, face uh, atoms contributing the three atoms and the corner atom contributing the one atom so that becomes a four number of atoms uh, in the fcc case now the where are the another four atoms uh, where they are uh, sitting in the uh unit cell right so as we can see on the uh, down plane okay bottom plane uh, if we go in the body diagonal okay one one uh, say so the at the position if i just consider this as a zero zero position that is origin one then uh, the so one of the atom which is uh, situating in the down plane at the uh, tetrahedral position okay uh, in a tetrahedral position and what is that position that is the position where Uh, the atom which is uh, sitting uh, on the body diagonal above the uh, uh, the two atoms in the uh, above the uh, two atoms uh, between the center uh, bottom uh, face uh, center atom and the corner one above that uh, one atom is uh, in the same in the body diagonal another atom will be situated they are represented with the uh, uh, green colors okay so the, the x right and similarly in the cross uh, in the cross there are uh, two atoms which are situating in this uh, body diagonal upper diagonal of the uh, upper uh, face of this uh, uh, body diagonal we can see the is one of the atom which is situating over here at the uh, another one is at situ how the tetrahedral position is forming over here so this atom which is uh, connecting with the nearest uh, face atoms okay where there we can see the three Uh, faces where uh, it is just uh, nearest to one and the uh, nearest corner atom it is con- connected one so it is connected it is shown in the dotted line with the green okay so this uh, green atom is connected with the um, corner nearest corner one and the nearest face uh, three face atoms so that becomes a uh, uh, tetrahedral position in the uh, similarly the other atoms are uh, connected so there are four atoms which are uh, situated in th- this is something like a if this is the body diagonal of the bottom um, uh, f- uh, plane then the uh, top plane uh, uh, body diagonal atoms will be situating at this point and this point in case of the um, uh, bottom plane the, the atoms are situating in this uh, point and at this point so the position of this atom uh, at the bottom we can consider as the 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 4 and the any face atom which is if suppose i consider the bottom plane then the face centered having the uh, its z coordinate as a zero so its position is half half zero and the others can be uh, represented in the same manner so the monoatomic monoatomic single atom diamond lattice is not a bravais lattice but okay it is not the bravais lattice and uh, must be described as a lattice with a basis okay so it is described with the a lattice with the basis as well okay so the formula as we know that the formula for the structure factor is given as a uh, in terms of the uh, new 1 new 2 new 3 which is summation which is running over the j from the 1 to the s and fj and the exponential factor as uh, already much aware of it so the structure factor for the diamond is uh, actually referred to as a fcc lattice okay as we know the fcc lattice Uh, and the basis of the diamond and it is having the basis of the diamond is this is something like a repeating case in this case of the uh, diamond structure okay if you just try to uh, consider over here and the another position is the uh, this basis one so this is repeating over here and this point 
ok. So, this is basic structure and you just try to repeat the uh, next uh, unit cell uh, to on the right hand side then we can uh, see the similar kind of the uh, uh, repetition of the unit cell or the basis is repeated over. So, in that case uh, the what is the basis of this? This is 0 0 0 and the 1 4 1 4 1 4 position. Now, this uh, 0 0 position will uh, give us the another FCC atoms uh, that is face centered uh, cubic um, atoms uh, situated at the half half 0, half 0 half and 0 half half. And similarly, 1 by 4 position will give us the another set of the uh, atoms which will be situating at the 3 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4, 3 by 4 and the 1 by 4, 3 by 4, 3 by 4 position. So, there are 8 positions in that uh, or 8 atomic positions in this uh, FCC structures we have uh, seen over here. Now, uh, here it is simpler to describe the uh, diamond structure as a FCC with a basis of the 2 atoms already we have uh, said it. Okay. So, the two, where are these 2 atoms are, are there as a basis that is at the 1 is at the uh, 0 0 position, 1 is at the 0 0 position, this is x, j, uh, y, j and z, j positions okay? and the another one is at the 1 4 1 4 1 4 position. So, this is the basis one. So, I can just try to calculate the structure factor for the uh, basis one. So, what is uh, there are 2 atoms. So, I can uh, my summation can run over the uh, 2 uh, atoms so j is 1 2 2 and the uh, x, y, z positions can be uh, represented over here and we have to choose the new 1 new 2 new 3 as a, its integer or h k l pens it can be also represented in some books that h k and l so you can uh, write down. So, if we just substitute over here the 0 that will give us the 1 and the when we substitute the 1 by 4 position uh, then we can get the 1 by 4 if we take out then the 2 will get cancelled and that 1 by 2 remains over there. So, as we can know that the e raise to ok as we know that the e raise to uh, i pi by 2 is nothing but the i and if it is a minus 1 then we can have the minus i as well. This is uh, some complex number formulas right. So, I can write down this as a you know, uh, f into uh, 1 plus e minus i raise to nu 1 plus nu 2 plus nu 3. So, nu 1 nu 2 nu 3 or h k l planes decides the how much is the uh, structure factor uh, amplitude or the amplitude of the uh, scatter uh, scattered wave ok or the uh, scattered uh, wave amplitude ok. Uh, so, now uh, here therefore, the structure factor for the diamond uh, cubic structure is the product of the basis and the FCC lattice. So, oh, what is the uh, structure factor ok it is composition of the both ok uh, FCC lattice plus basis one uh, already we have uh, calculated the uh, structure factor uh, for the uh, basis one and already we know about the FCC lattices uh, structure factor calculation. So, f into the 1 plus minus uh, now here I have used the formula that is e raise to minus i pi ok e raise to minus i pi can give us the value as a minus 1 ok because e raise to i theta can give us the cos theta plus i sin theta. So, this is minus 1. So, nu 1 plus nu 2 and nu and uh, we know this uh, in the last lecture as well. So, if we just uh, if we combine this result and the basis result. So, this is uh, something like okay, we can call it as a lattice 1. So, if we just combine the basis and the lattice together then that will uh, give us the uh, combining result can give us the uh, total structure factor for the uh, uh, diamond structure ok. So, if now, my nu 1, nu 2, nu 3 or else h k l uh, decides the uh, how much amount of the uh, amplitude it will be uh, scattered uh, amplitude of the uh, scattered uh, uh, or scatter, scattering amplitude will be uh, there. So, now, now here suppose uh, we have the some options over here. So, that uh, we can get the maximum whether uh, we can get the reflection at that point or not we can uh, decide one. Suppose, if nu 1, nu 2 and nu 3 all are of the mixed parity, mixed parity in the sense that uh, it can have the odd parity or else the uh, um, uh, even parity ok. The uh, mixed means both it will having the uh, odd parity as well as the uh, even parity means something like the uh, nu 1, nu 2, nu 3 is uh, uh, coordinates are something 1, 2 and 3. So, here you can have the 2 odds and 1 even is there. So, at that time at that time the first term uh, a becomes a 0 1 as we have seen in case of the FCC 1. If the, there are odd uh, 
uh, HKL value or new 1, new 2, new 3 values are there, then we can get the 0 intensity at that point or the, there is a no reflection at that point. So, uh, the first term in this case, uh, this will get the 0 1 and uh, so the total uh, uh, scattered amplitude becomes a 0 and intensity at that point becomes a uh, 0. Similarly, now suppose, now suppose uh, we can have the new 1, new 2, new 3 are all even or all odd, all even in the sense that okay, 2, 2, 2, okay, 2, 2, 2 or else uh, all evens 1, 1, 1, okay or else what we can have the 0, 0, 2 or else uh, what we can have here uh, 3, 1, 1 uh, or else uh, uh, what we can have uh, 3, 3, 1 so kind of the uh, new 1, new 2, new 3 values will be. Then the first term becomes a 4 times, okay. As we know that if the one of the uh, uh, coordinate is one of the new 1, new 2, new 3 uh, play, uh, value is uh, odd 1, uh, then uh, what we can have? Uh, sorry, uh, new one, new, all are even or all are odd, then we can get the intensity in case of the FCC structure. So, this becomes a 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. So, that becomes a 4 times and the ba basis we know. So, the uh, new 1, new 2, new 3, if suppose all are odd, all are odd, then, then uh, what we can get it? The first term that is 4 times F 1 plus I, okay, 1 plus I. So, this basis will give us the 1 plus I here because this if it is all odd then this will contribute the minus 1 or if it is a plus 1 then it will contribute the uh, uh, plus uh, i okay, and minus i. So, that contribution it is uh, defined over here in case of the or odd then uh, in case of the odd then we can get it the 4 times f into 1 plus i. So, similarly intensity we know that it is proportional to the amplitude square intensity is proportional to the amplitude square. So, now uh, this s uh, new 1 new 2 new 3 will give us amplitude so uh, 4 plus 1 plus i that is a uh, 16 4 square is 16 and uh, then this will give uh, contribute the 1 plus 1 that is uh, 2 so for 16 uh, into 2 becomes a 32 f square uh, sorry 32 s square not the f square so intensity is proportional to the 32 s square so on the other hand on the other hand if suppose new 1 new 2 new 3 even okay it the summation is even and exactly divisible by 4. This is something like the 4, 8, uh, 12 uh, and so on and so forth. Okay, That summation is um, like that. Then the new, uh, that is uh, nothing but new 1, new 2, new 3 is uh, 4n and n is any integer we can consider here. Then uh, s of new 1, new 2, new 3 is 4f into 2. Okay, 4f into 2. So, the uh, amplitude uh, becomes uh, 8f 8f and intensity becomes a uh, 16f square 16f uh, square okay this is the another uh, condition so there on the other hand just consider the uh, uh, condition over the even numbers but the which is not divisible by the 4 okay if the summation is even but not divisible by 4 this is something the like summation is uh, suppose i just consider 0 0 and 2 so the summation is a 2 here summation is 2, 0 plus 0 plus 2 becomes 2, but it is not divisible uh, by 4, okay, complete divisible by 4, then new 1, new 2, new 3 is not equal to 4 n, then the second term becomes a 0. So, in that case, what will happen? The second term which we have, the basis term uh, in the uh, structure factor becomes a 0 and uh, the will get, will not get the intensity at that point because uh, the um, amplitude becomes a 0 or there is a no reflection from that point. Okay, from that uh, point. So, we will not observe such a kind of the uh, reflections in case of the uh, diffraction in a diffraction uh, pattern. So, here I can summarize that the new 1, new 2, new 3 values okay, is equal to the amplitude becomes uh, scattering amplitude becomes 8f then the new 1 uh, plus new 2 plus new 3 this summation becomes a 4 times n. So, it is a multiple of the 4. Okay, from, uh, uh, then uh, on the other hand if suppose this is a 4 times 1 plus r minus i f then when it is possible mm, the, uh, that is another new 1 plus new 2 plus new 3 is 2 n plus 1 this is odd 1 okay. this is a completely odd 1 and if it is just uh, what we can have is uh, not equal to the 4 n okay is not equal to the uh, 4 n okay is not equal to 4 n then we will get the uh, zero intensity at that point okay we'll get the uh, zero intensity or the amplitude becomes a zero at that point okay so that's it thank you